This video is made possible through a partnership with Humble Bundle. As a Humble Partner, all Humble Bundle purchases through the links in the description below will help support the channel. Today's featured Humble Bundle is one filled with RPG books. Books! This is Vampire the Masquerade by White Wolf Entertainment, one of the most popular tabletop RPGs of all time. In this game, you and your friends become vampires, referred to in this series as Kindred, and must deal with your nightly struggles involving your own primal urges, vampire hunters, and of course, the other players. With this bundle, you can help yourself to the grand selection of books, containing the game itself as well as many other supplements and sources to enhance your experience. These books are available as PDF files, while some are also available as EPUBs, all with no DRM attached, ah, ah, ah. You can also receive badges for worldofdarkness.com, so you can access these books at any time, and a 3 month subscription to select titles from the classic catalog is included. Oh, and there's also a Steam movie if you want something visual that's not too abysmal. Proceeds from this bundle will support the American branch of the United Nations Refugee Agency, dedicated to providing life-saving essentials such as food, water, shelter, and protection to refugees, as well as others displaced by violence, conflict, and persecution. Like the rest of the world, this charity aims to give refugees the hope they deserve, to restore their dignity, and to help rebuild their lives. This charity and my channel need your support, so use the link in the description below to provide us with your blood. I mean, your money. You even get to decide how to allocate the funds you provide, dividing it in whatever manner you choose amongst the publisher, the charity, the website, and the channel. Fly with haste, my little fledglings, for this bundle ends October 16th. Well, I mustn't keep the video delayed any longer, for I can see you all shivering with anticipation. Passion. So thank you for listening to this very important message. Well now we can start the video, which hopefully won't involve me doing a ridiculous accent anymore! Ah 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 ah! Go. Oh crap. And we're back with My Little Pony the Game. <laughs> Are you sure Robert said to medium? Yeah, I made sure it was said to medium. He's always said to medium. Who else would I said it to? Uh, blah 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 blah. Dress as a man so she can remain this type of king. <laughs> what is a Egypt? Egypt. What is a pharaoh? There you go. Mm -hmm. Precisely. Did you know Egypt made their rock, made their own knockoff of Rocky Horror Picture Show with Dracula in it? I did not. I'll just show you the movie sometime. Oh crap! Did he do carpool karaoke? Nope. I messed up. It was the other one. James Corden. You you seen that one? Yes. I would see James Corden because we get him. It's my Can mom's favorite talk which show. Which category would you like? All right, pick some. This character saying, "Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you?" What the hell? You are, you tell me. I don't have a clue. <laughs> mm. Okie dokie then. Monica. No, sorry. Anybody venture a guess? If you're playing at home, please help out. <laughs> I'll try it. Um. Rachel? That's not what we were going for. It was Phoebe. Oh, nice. Well, it was the only one left. <laughs> Precisely. Woohoo! <laughs> this game makes me hungry. Pick something. Ah, uh, let's see here. PG movie classic. Listen to the following image. The appendix scene here still scares viewers of this Spielberg classic. Woohoo! <laughs> Easy. Damn. Jaws. <laughs> you beat me by yes. a millisecond. It's this. It's my. I have to catch up to you guys. For it is my density. Player one. Please destiny. select a category. 800 same. Look at the following image. The martial arts scene here was the subject of this wax on, wax off movie that spawned a franchise. 
Damn! Karate Kid! Oh, that's that's right. right. That's why I lose to him. He's faster <laughs> on the clicker. If I was faster on the clicker, I'd be better at Clone Hero, but I'm not. 2000 same. Observe the following image. Richard Dreyfuss sculpted the food scene here into a significant shape in this sci-fi film. Um. Close Encounters of the Third Kind? Yes. First thing on my mind was X-Files because they did that, like an X-Files parody on yeah, Sesame Street. Yeah, yeah, that was a good guess, by the way. Thanks. 1600 same category. Look at the following image. Sean Connery captures the type of vessel seen here in a 1990 movie it's based on a book by this author. Really? <laughs> oh! A book by what author? Please? How can I see? Indeed. Oh, that was a guess. That was an absolute guess. Yeah, I was ready to snap, step in and snatch with the other two. one. Pick God, I didn't. Observe the following image. The animal seen here, a legless lizard, was substituted for ass in this movie where the hero asks, why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> I'm going to say Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's correct. Very good, yes. I don't watch Indiana Jones, but this is like uh, something I know. Which category would you like? Um, name the cheesiest country for 12. Rockford. That'd be Rockford. <laughs> uh, well, thanks for giving that away. Yeah. <laughs> you are correct. Uh, 1600 same. Asiago. Asiago. <laughs> thanks for giving that away. Correct. Every time I say it, I don't know what. <laughs> 2000 I same. I hate my accents. Damn it, they curse me. I don't know how you say that. I might as well help you out with it. Gruyere. Uh, I'm sorry. That doesn't no. give me any help at all. Take it, I don't care. Poland? That's not what we were going for. No. Nope. Okay, then. I figured it went in Poland because I'm part Polish on my mother's side. Switzerland. That's it. Oops, thanks. Oh, I'm still in second place. Oh, great. How much would you I like found. to wager? <laughs> I'll wager 8,000. Ha <laughs> ha, have fun. What is Mexico? Correct. That was a guess. That was an absolute guess. I didn't even know how to pronounce that. It's, it's, it looked Spanish to me. 400 same. Monterey Jack. Uh, England? That is no, that's incorrect. That is Jack. Monterey, Monterey, New Mexico. Precisely. The United States. <laughs> it seems so obvious. It's your That's turn why to I didn't choose pick a category. It. Right. Let's see here. Woodhouse. In a children's classic, the second of these animals builds his house out of sticks. Oh my God! Really? <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Bam! What are little pigs? Are you sure about the little, the three little goalie locks and the three? <laughs> Wolves or something? <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's a Disneyland land with a Thunder Ranch log. <laughs> no clue. Couldn't a have Disneyland been. land? Um, Frontierland? That's right. Good guess. I I got lost at Disneyland land, so that was just Pretty a complete much. guess. Please yeah. <laughs> 1600 same. Uh, let's go to Disneyland. The Chuck Lowe's <laughs> are traditionally made for this dirt. I don't know. You are right. Mm. Yeah, apparently Robert knew that one. Which category Whoever you the hell have? he is. This 16th U.S. president was born in 1809 in a log cabin in Kentucky. You're serious? <laughs> Here's Kenneth Lincoln. Mm. Correct. I had a feeling that was right, 
but like, I'm I had a sure feeling I could have wrote. I could have sworn <laughs> I remember <laughs> Lincoln being the fifteenth brother. Like, I had a 16th. feeling too, and then I counted my presidents on my fingers, and I knew it. Pasadena's Gamble Hassers, is the exterior of Doc Brown's fifty-five match in this film. Doc Brown, really? <laughs> what is Back to the Future? Oh. That's it. Duh. Mm. It's been a while since I've seen that one. Yeah. A replica of his spirit of St. Louis plane that was used in the 1957 movie is on display at the Missouri History Museum. Uh, Spirita St. Louis. I'm going to say Charles Lindbergh. Correct. Mm. Correct. Charles Lindbergh or cheese. Player one, it's your turn to choose a category. 800. The star of Mad Men became friends with Paul Rudd when they were young actors in St. Louis. Oh, uh, great. I honestly don't and know. now you're kicking both of our asses. 25,200. How did I even it? get there? Do we have like a time jump or something? I don't know. <laughs> uh, very mysterious. Crap, I wasn't paying attention. John Hamm? You are right. That was luck. Yeah, especially considering I wasn't paying any in attention. Yeah, yeah, 26,000 even. 2,000. The, the next one must be a daily double. This third transparent St. Louis's official seal symbolizes the city's early growth. I haven't known any of these. <laughs> um, I'm going to say a steamboat. Precisely. That was a guess. Here's the last clue. It's a daily double. Oh God. <laughs> How much money are you wagering? <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't get it. <laughs> I'll wager 22000 In 1953, Sportsman's Park was renamed this, becoming the first of three ballparks to bear the name. Bush Stadium. Yes. Oh, I, re I remember Bush Gardens. I'm up to 50000 and now we're on Final Jeopardy. Final Jeopardy. Dumb. He's at fifty freaking thousand. I'm at five thousand four hundred. How much do you want to wager? Robert's at thirty-three. I have your own wager. Uh, right, American authors, take your time. I might as well. It's just for fun. Good. Don't look at the thing. Oh, sorry. He's gonna love me for this. He'll thank me for it later. <laughs> In 1958, he wrote Brazil was beastly, but Buenos Aires was the mo was the best. Not Tiffany's, but almost. Mm. Robert said, "JD Salinger." No, sorry. And lost a bunch. Please let me get it. You said Please. Truman Capote. That's it. Yes. And you, got, and you doubled it. Yeah! Let's see how I did. Mm. Please not throw much. J.D. Salinger. Yay! And I wagered everything. <laughs> I won! <laughs> I come from behind victory, I won. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Final placements. It's funny how things go, isn't it? Uh -huh. Alright, well, I think we're gonna end this video here. We just wanted to hang out and do... Something fun. Yeah. It's fun to us. If it's fun to you, good. If it's not, well, fun is subjective. Yeah, if you want to see more of stuff like this, let us know. Like, or, or yeah, leave a like and a comment. In fact, like, comment Goat Simulator, and we'll play Goat Simulator next time. Uh. <laughs> uh, make him play indie games, even though he doesn't like them. Okay, here's a little bit of a challenge. If we can get 50 people, 50 different people. I don't even know 50 people. Uh, just 50 people who watch this video, period. 50 people who watch the video? Are you high? Okay, fine. 25. If 25, 20, 15, 10. There. If 10 people like this video, then we'll play Goat Simulator. I guess that works. All right. Mm -hmm. Until then, you know who we are, you know what we do. Thank you for watching, and big thanks to Patreon supporters, Daniel Baker. See you later, peace.